So welcome to the first ever annual Connecting Lives Through Literature Community event. For the past two and a half months, the Murray students and the UVA students that you're about to meet have been meeting once a week to debate these characters, to talk about them and other characters, and to confront and grapple with the very same human questions that they're grappling with. For the UVA students, this collaboration is part of a class that I teach called Connecting Lives Through Literature. And for the Murray students, it's part of their required English classes. This, the Connecting Lives Through Literature class, was actually inspired by um, the Books Behind Bars class that I started in 2010, where um, UVA students would meet with incarcerated youth and have discussions about literature. And, and what I learned from that experience is the power of that kind of conversation, the power of bringing two different groups of students almost the same age um, who otherwise might not meet, bringing them together and having them build relationships while at the same time exploring the big life questions through literature. Well, the collaborative model that we used was immensely effective in figuring out how to create an environment where kids could talk with each other and talk with these older students who are not that much older than many of them um, and share what they were thinking and feeling and making it relevant in their own lives with the vehicle of Russian literature from the 19th century. We had activities such as authentic questions to come up with a question that was not a, something that wasn't brought up in the story clear enough. So we would have to like write down questions in and like see if we can answer them if the answer comes up in the story. This semester, every week, we have met with the UVA students to discuss about stories we have read and our opinions on them. Um, so it expanded from just being, well, what is this author saying to being, what is this author saying to me and to you and how do we find meaning with each other? I learned about myself and who I am through like other authors. Well, the like, role of women, that came up a lot. And in today's world with, you know, the role of women being something that's much on the mind of people in the media, um, there was a lot of conversation about that. Life for a writer and a poet in that time was very difficult, especially if you were a woman writer, uh, because you were probably going to be exiled or killed or something unless your poem was, like, amazing. So there weren't very many, and if there were any women writers then, they were great, but they'd be better than the men. Uh, um, basically what all of us did is, uh, piece of artwork, a photography, a drawing, and a poem to go along with it. So what I like about 19th century Russian literature is that students reading it today, um, they make connections with things that are happening today, but they can really focus on the universal human questions they, because it's, it's far enough away that they can kind of look at it a little bit um, uh, without immediately relating it to something that's happening you know, today in the news in Charlottesville. I find that connecting lives through literature is really refreshing. It's a very accessible, non-threatening way for community members to come together and use the literature as the medium to talk about these big questions. I learned that life is hard, <laughs> really. Um, just for them back then and even now, and they sort of relate in a way, still today. Everyone describes everything differently depending on who they are. You know, for the UVA students, to get them out of the classroom and into the community, to show them that what they are learning in the classroom can be and should be intimately connected, you know, integrally connected. Instead of reading the short stories or poems line by line and nitpicking the literature, we were all able to take a step back and talk about the bigger themes. Um, and so we would have these discussions for two hours on a Monday afternoon over pizza about the meaning of life and what is success and what is authentic love or does it even matter to define authentic love? Um, you know, how do you live if you know you're going to die? How do you balance living for yourself and living for society? This semester we've been reading Russian literature together and then coming together once a week to talk about it. We've been talking about a lot of themes like what is success? How do you live if you know you're going to die? What does happiness mean? So for those Murray students that may be wondering, you know, do I want to go to college? Am I able to go to college? 
I'm hoping this was a real inspiration, um, that that's a real possibility. When you're done with this program, you will be able to say that you belong to a very small group of Americans who've not just heard of, but have actually read some of these dusty old classic Russian writers. I actually heard some of them say, you met us with respect and understanding and kindness, and you accepted us as peers in this project. And because of that, we all felt completely free to be authentic. And so they were very authentic, and that authenticity you see in their projects. My hope for this class was, you know, that, that we're all trying to figure out how to heal. Like Charlottesville is, is a, is a di divided community right now, like so much of the country is. It's, um, we've had a lot of conflict and a lot of turmoil. And so I've always believed that literature and the arts can be a source of healing. I'm feeling Russia all over in my soul and my blood.